it's pretty realistic. You can get some nice clouds. You have to practice it quite a bit, and you got to do a lot of them fast. And it's something that sets right away. So uh, it's it goes down live. And uh, here's another example. Okay, it's really lovely because um, you get to discover uh, how the paint will work on its own. The paint has its own dynamics. And you can do really subtle clouds as well. I like uh, using a. Uh, a turquoise, I find turquoise is really nice color to have as the sky and behind and just a little bit of pink, any random red is fine. So this is on 140 pounds, this is on a 300 pound. The paper will take the paint differently. So on the 300 pound, you're going to see more intensity between your white and your dark area. And here it's a little bit softer because the paper is thinner. Okay, so let's do one of these and I'll show you how it's done. It's really, really fast. Okay, we start, we like to have three brushes ready. I've got my soft wash brush, I've got my color brush, and then I have a brush for my red. Here I have my turquoise, I've got my clean water, and I've got a little bit of red. So how we do is we start out by taking the paper and we just do a very quick water on top of it, okay? I wash this and I make sure the paper's all wet. All right, just go like that, make sure water goes everywhere, that's it. And so the, the paper has a nice coat of water, not too thick, uh, but just enough to make sure that there's water and, and the paper, there's a little bit of a, a wet surface, okay, over, over and above. So the, the, the paper's soaked and there's a little bit of water hanging on the surface. Okay, then what I like to do is I start with my red, go in there, whoops, and we just do a, a quick little, just move it around like that, okay. And then we'll slide the water, because the water's still wet. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more water, okay, like that, just to create a little bit of movement in the clouds, okay? So I drip the water down, that's it. Okay, now I take my blue, or turquoise, or whatever blue you got handy, and you start with a lighter one underneath, like that, okay? That's it. And then I go and I put slightly darker on top. I'll, I'll add a little bit more pigment on the top. Okay. And there you go. There's a the sky background. Done. Okay. Now we'll just let it drip and set. And how it's going to set is going to be completely different. So there you go. It's how to make a one minute sky background. It's a very classic British watercolor technique. Anybody can do it. I'd say do a whole bunch and pick the best ones and you're going to really love some of the results. Okay, have a nice day. I'm Mop Sang Tenzin, The Wandering Artist. And I'm here with Bola. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.